The resignation was announced in a video posted on the Facebook page of the People's Progressive Party Civic. Danny Jr. grew up in the PNCR and his resignation has ended three generations of commitment and dedication by his bloodline to the party. According to Danny Jr., his exit from the party is because of the many failed promises of the PNCR, which is the largest party in the coalition. I had high hopes that the government would deliver the promises made in its manifesto. Instead, youths were sidelined. Persons that never fought on the battlefront parachuted their way into prominent positions. Ministers wantonly increased their salary without performance evaluation. Just a mere excuse that what? They will not steal. They will not be corruptible. My brothers and sisters, we've seen <laughs> differently. He stated that citizens are suffering and the situation of the nation continues to worsen on a daily basis. But the APNU AFC government continues to ignore this with its inaction towards remedying situations. It saddens me to see the PNC I knew is seemingly allowing wickedness to prevail. The root of their denial and arrogance stems from the disconnection from society. I know that there are many in the PNC including cardholders and supporters outside who are also displeased with the party and by extension the performance in government. I've spoken to many supporters who complain that certain ministers does not have 10 minutes time to spend to listen to the various concerns. The recent scrambling by government is comical for supporters cannot be hoodwinked. The former PNCR member added that the good life that was promised for all has not been delivered. Sad to say, small businesses are struggling to survive. Many businessmen would have had their overdraft closed and are basically trying to scramble to survive, using their savings to get by. The business community as well is discomforted by the many blackouts as well as citizens. My brothers and sisters, persons' homes are being foreclosed. Thousands have lost their jobs. Escalating crime situation is eating away like a cancer, and the Constitution is being violated whilst Guyana is suffering. Reporting for the Evening News, I am Kristen McLingham.